What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. My name is Travis. Today we're going to talk about what happened to my yellow tang here in the 300 gallon. Now if you follow me on social media, I posted a picture, I think it was Saturday, of him. He actually passed away due to the uh, powder blue and the uh, sail fin. Now, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, um, he has gotten really skinny over the last several months, but understand that he went through quarantine, never had any issues, never um, had anything other than the fact that he was really aggressive. Uh, he was super fat when I put him in here, but as I started adding more tangs, his aggression got worse, but unfortunately, these tangs grew up a little bit quicker than he is. He did. Now, uh, usually, which I, say, which I said before, unfortunately, the powder blue um, did most of the damage. He's been really good. He never bothers any other fish. He does this all day. That's it. He just picks around, does nothing, swims, has a great time. And uh, the sailfin and uh, the powder blue are the only ones that really bump heads in this tank. And then there was the yellow tang. I think he was the third man out. Now, when it comes to the yellow tang, he actually killed another fish that I had in here uh, when I was trying to introduce tangs, and uh, this was well before I got the other fish. And uh, he's always been really, really aggressive. He's always beat up on everybody, and uh, I think that this just might have been a little bit of karma. He uh, got weak over time, of course, uh, not being able to get food the way he usually does because uh, these guys were beating up on him because of the aggression in the tank. He just wasn't eating like he was, and you guys can see that they're... They're going at it a little bit. Uh, and it's not nothing crazy. That's about it, just fin slapping a little bit here and there. But uh, anyway, he just never ate as much as everybody else because every time he went for food, they would bat him up into the power head. Up in, in, well, I had WP-60s in here before. They're actually being cleaned. But they would um, hit him up into the power head, and then they would eat, and he would just kind of watch and get whatever scraps he could. Now, this has been happening for several months, and that's why he lost a ton of weight. And um, I think between the bat getting beat up he just got really weak and then one day those two decided that they were going to finish the job and I walked down here um, really wasn't paying attention to the tank and then I just I kind of it wasn't really a splashing sound it just seemed like there was ruffling around at the top that wasn't usual so I looked over there and they had him uh, up into this power head just beating them you know senseless and then eventually he just gave up and then got sucked to the side of the power head and then you know his eyeball got pushed out through the power head so he was gone at that point so um yeah they really did a number on him very quickly and um yeah it's just one of those things i mean there's a lot of fish in there that have similar facial structures like the sail fin the scopus tang the um the purple tang they all have similar facial structures but they don't bother anybody there's always an oddball or an odd man out that just seems to be really aggressive and it's I've, every tank i've ever had there's always been one fish that's always been that way and usually um something happens to him one of the fish just gets sick of it and they take care of it now um, as for the tank when it comes to stocking it's pretty light i mean we got the monos here and everybody asks about these guys the monos uh, let me make this very clear if you don't have a large tank at at least 125 gallons or more that's minimum do not get these fish they get massive they grow really quickly they've tripled in size in just six months don't get them okay and everybody likes them but don't get them unless you have the room and a bigger tank like before i'm done with this system uh they are going to outgrow the tank as well as this bad boy right here the lamingi tang he's going to outgrow this tank too so i'm going to have to remove those five fish at some point um hopefully hopefully not anytime soon but uh, the way they're growing right now they're going to be out so just keep that in mind everybody ask about them they're really cool but if you don't have a big tank stay away from the monos okay um, now, as for stocking for this tank, there's definitely future plans for adding more fish. Uh, Blue Hippo Tang, I want to add a um, Naso Tang. There's a couple more that I want to get in here when they're smaller so they can kind of grow up. Like, we have the Purple Tang that's pretty small, so he's going to be in here for a while. He's just kind of in there. So he's going to be in here for a while. Um, and then, of course, once they get too big, they're going to have to go. Uh, tangs just get, you know, huge. Blue Hippo Tang can get up to a foot long. It's a, it's a pretty big fish, especially even for a 300 gallon tank. It's still a massive fish. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to be adding many, many more fish to this tank. It's just going to take some time. It's not really on the um, schedule of things to get done just because we have a lot going on in the fish room. We're adding a new frag tank. There's just a lot of stuff. So uh, it's, it's, it's on the list, but it's not really a priority. So that's about it. I wanted to give you guys an update and uh, say goodbye to the Yellow Tang. Um, actually, I never even had a name for him because I didn't really like him from the beginning because of how mean he was. And when he killed, you know, a $50 fish, that kind of, 
you know, we, we weren't friends at that point. So, um, yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow with another one. Later.